Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I thought I would do another video today. I had a video go up yesterday and I felt like scrapbooking today again. So I thought I would just grab one of my page kits and get a page done. What I'm hoping and you know, life just gets in the way, you know, what you hope to accomplish and what you actually are able to do are two different things. <laughs> so this is what I'm hoping to be able to do this week is I'm going to mat this photo right here. Well, before I start, this is a page kit that I put together. I kind of separated everything here. It's all scraps. So I'm going to try to use as much scraps as possible. I've never been to this place, but it's a place that, uh, my oldest daughter started going to, and then on Saturday, her and my youngest daughter went to, and it's called The Cut, or The Cut, and I guess it's a really beautiful place to swim. Not a lot of people know about it, so it's not like overly populated. Now, the own, like it's private land, and the owner said that he they don't he doesn't mind if people goes and enjoys it as long as they're respectful and clean up and all this stuff. So hopefully they'll be able to keep going, you know, that people are being respectful and mindful of his property and stuff and clean up. But so I thought she kind of took a picture and what it was, apparently it was this mining place. And when they got to this place, they hit a natural water resource, like water source, and it filled up the mining. And then it just made this like little water hole. And apparently some people put some goldfish in there and they're thriving. Apparently there's all kinds of gold, goldfish in there. So I just thought, you know, this was something new that they started going to and I want to document it. We'll probably go sometime. Hopefully this summer. We shall see. But I'm just going to take these um, scraps and I'm going to try and just make layers here and you know, if you've been here for a while, you know, it's my one of my favorite ways to scrapbook is to use these scraps and to see how that like that's a triangle and I'm just going to stick it in behind there. And then because of this, you can't even tell that it's like that. So I'm just going to pretend like it's a nice piece of pattern paper and just put something there then what about this I don't know if I'll be able to use this but at this point I think I have I think I'm going to cut this into a banner but at this point I think I have enough that I can start gluing down <clears throat> so I'm going to start gluing down I need a little bit more so I started saying what my hope is this week is I'm going to do one layout. What time is it? Right now it's 12, 12. So I got up this morning. I had a bunch of stuff to just get done yesterday. Like I mentioned in the video, we made that sesame chicken, which, oh my Lanta, that creates so much dishes, which I, you know, I do while I cook. I do dishes after I cooked, even before I ate, I still did dishes. And then I did dishes after we finished eating and I put the dishwasher on, but there were still a few things left over. And last night I was just like, I am done. <laughs> I've done dishes all day today. I'm going to bed and I'll get up in the morning and I'll finish them. So that's what I did this morning. I got up and I finished the dishes and then I came upstairs and I talked yesterday about how I want to work on my craft room and <clears throat> I have an order coming in from Ikea uh, 
some calyx or one calyx and uh, five inserts. I wish now I would have bought at least one door because I don't like stuff to sh show, but I'll probably order more stuff before the end of the summer. So I'll just order some doors to put, like just a couple of doors, um, you know, to the glue and that kind of stuff. I like to kind of hide that. But anyway, so I started that this morning. I, um, I printed a whole bunch of tiny letters and tiny numbers that's available in our shop. So I did, I printed a whole bunch of those. They're super cute. And then I thought, you know what? Let's do a layout. So my hope is this after, I'm going to do a layout and then I'm going to work again on that area that I want to um, put the calyx unit. So I'm going to work on that again this afternoon that's gonna go under there and I'm hoping to get you know I know I can't do all of it today because there's quite a bit to do but I'm hoping I already did the red card stock if you follow been following me for a while you know I've been trying to organize my scrap room this year and I was organizing my cardstock. I did quite a bit when I did the video and then I kind of stopped. I think I did a few colors after that and I kind of stopped. So I think I have like white vanilla to do, brown and purple and blue, I think. Oh, and one more yellow. I did two full containers of yellow and I still have yellow to do. So I'm gonna try and do at least one more color this afternoon. Then I have a whole bunch of eight and a half by 11s that I got to move, but that I don't have to do too much with it. I think I'm just going to pile it on the floor and um, I don't know, I'll figure out where to put that on my Calyx unit, I think. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with this eight and a half by 11. And that's why lately I've been kind of using it all the time because I'm trying to, I think I'm gonna put the tail on this side. I'm trying to use it up, but oh man, I have so much eight and a half by 11. So I'm trying to use it up as much as possible. I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't cut that or put a piece of grid paper over top and then I won't even be able to see it but that's where my grid paper is going to go let me see if I can easily find my grid paper here it is I think I'm, I'm going to try and get some more of these and then I can divide them between um, the medium grid and the large grid and then it'll be easier to go through them I think you know, it'll be less. So having less to go through will obviously make it easier. This looks like pinkish. So I'll use that. Okay, so that's what I'll do. I'll just put that right there so it covers that awkward little corner there. And then I don't like this sticking out, so... I'm going to measure this and remember these are all um, leftovers so it's not anything that I've measured but I want it to be equal so it's basically three and a half and then I'm going to make it by two. Okay so that's what I love about these is I'm able to make it whatever size I want because it's actually three and one, two, three, four, three and five eighths by two. And then the rest is still usable. You know, I can make it whatever size I want it. So I love that. I love making my own 
journaling paper. I guess I'm, I didn't measure very well. Let me see. Yeah, that's what it is. I must not have put it on the right spot. Oh, yes, I didn't. Is it there or there? No, it's the Y. Okay, I'll just go a little bit more. And then I'll go by two. What I love is when I run out, I'm just going to print it again. And then I have all kinds of grid paper again. Okay, so I like that like that. I think I'm going to ink the edges a little bit. What did I use? Festive berries, which is kind of a red, pinkish red. That's okay. There, I'm gonna put that right there. And then I'll put this right over top. I'm gonna put this first because I wanna leave a little border here. And then I can put this right over top and you can't even tell that there's a big gap there. Now, and I'm gonna make so that it ends right, either right there or right there. Hmm. Right there or right there. Right there <laughs> or right there. I think it's too long. To, I like it there better, but I think it's a little too long. There. I like that configuration better. So now I'm going to stick this down. There. And then I can work on my embellishment cluster. Now my base is done. I'm still thinking whether I want to use this. I can just maybe stick a little bit of that under there. That's what I love about scraps. It's, you just try to use it as much as you can. So I'm going to put that there. And that there, and it looks like it's going all the way, but it's not. So, oh, that's nice on this side too. So I'm gonna do this, just adds a little bit more interest. And then I can take a ruler and make sure that I'm at the same spot, but I can also do this because I'm about half an inch away from this paper. Oh, I glued down while I, come on. So half an inch away from the edge, close enough. Love that, okay, cool. Now, I'm loving that. Ooh, yes, I think I'm gonna do an embellishment cluster right there. And I'm gonna use, I'm going to use a viewfinder like this. I think I'm gonna use something like that. And I love these, I made these um, one inch viewfinders, so the flares. I made those a few weeks ago. So I'm making sure that I use them. I think I like the label up here. It kind of, when I put it down here, it really was separating it. But when I put it up here, it would, it makes it feel like it belongs together. So I'm going to use that. And I think I'm going to put an embellishment cluster here with that flower. 
And again, I'm going to use just the leftovers. These are, you know, the viewfinder that I cut in half and all that good stuff. And so I'm going to have one there. Okay. Losing my voice again, so I just had to have a drink of water. So one there, one there, and then I'm looking to see where else I could do a cluster. But you know what? While I'm thinking, I know what I want to do with this. So let's get this done. And I know, I think the title I want it to be our favorite new spot or favorite something and then with tiny stickers and then I'll do the cuts with a bigger, with bigger stickers. Okay, so let's glue this down before I start moving stuff around. And then I kind of forget how I had it. There. I'll get this there. Glue down this cute little flower. And then I need glue dots for that. So let's get my glue dots. <clears throat> These glue dots are mega old. I'm making sure that I, oh, that is crooked. I'm making sure that I'm using all my products. So. Okay, a little straighter maybe. <laughs> okay, so I love using glue dots to glue these down. It just, it's very sturdy, doesn't move and easy to apply it on too. You just bring the flare to it and you just need a couple. I think I'm going to put that right here. Right here. Sure. So you can, it touches everything. Let me see. I just have to, I have to be intentional. Like here I touch everything, but I got to leave enough room so that you can see that if I make it too close, then it looks like it's trapped there and I don't want it to look trapped. So that's why I moved it. Same with this. I'm finding that it's out too much. So I'm going to tuck everything in, kind of tucking my embellishment cluster. And I think the third one, I'll do it right here. I have another label here. I'm just going to tuck that in there. I have quite a bit of embellishments here. I won't be using all of them, but that's okay. After I have my base down, then I can start looking and seeing what else I can add. So you have your embellishment foundation, which is the base. And then you have your embellishment finishers. And that is what kind of, you know, perks it up. And I have a new class right now that that's what I talk about. The whole class is embellishments and, um, you know, how to... Heart wide open, I like that. How to kind of think of your embellishments as you're building them. OK, 
Okay, I like that little twig, but I have a twig there, a twig here. So I'm thinking I want a little twig maybe here. I'm not really sure how we're gonna make that work. Maybe from underneath, yeah, from underneath the flare. Now I have a, I had a ton more, but I don't need all of that. I could, it's kind of cute, but I'll do a little bit of journaling here, not much. Like maybe the date here, and then we'll talk about what this is down here. There's little hearts. I can maybe put that. Always ready for a good time. That's cool. Maybe I can figure this out. I like fave. Um, maybe I can use that as part of the title. Fave new spot or something like that. Okay, so let's glue this down before it starts moving around too much and then I can't remember how I had it. And that's how I'm finding too, how I'm getting a lot of layouts done is I'm committing, I'm committing to, you know, instead of moving stuff around, I just say, okay, it looks okay, appropriate, <laughs> you know, like, I like the way it looks instead of moving it around for two days like I used to I just glue it down okay so let's do this and then once I have my foundation then I start looking at other stuff and seeing what else I can stick in there I kind of like this arrow let's see if we can make it work somewhere and if you tuck it, then it looks like, you know, it was meant to be there the whole time. I don't think I'm going to need those flowers. I have enough flowers. There's just these words, that little tag. I think I'll use it somewhere else. And I had those, but I decided to bring in some, um, some of those instead, the flares. That little bird, I think I'll put it so it looks like it's kind of landing on that flower I need some enamel dots I gotta turn on my fan she is mighty hot okay I'll put a little heart down here maybe a little heart here just to get them used up I think I like this better than heart wide open because it kind of goes with, you know, always ready for a good time. Maybe I can put it under here and it would just hang just before I start the journaling. Let's try that. How about if I cut this off so I can maybe use it somewhere else and then it looks like I'm going to intentionally put it on this side so it's away from that other embellishment cluster. Oh, that is crooked. <laughs> okay. So yes, my intention this week is I'm hoping that this afternoon I can get another layout done for Wednesday. Oh, the whole thing is crooked. I must have moved it. And then get a couple more layouts done for next week because I'm not going to be able to scrapbook next week at all. So I'm hoping to get layouts done and um, upload it and ready to just upload by themselves on YouTube. That's that's my hope. So cross your fingers that everything goes according to plan. So I'm gonna put that up there. It's gonna bring that in into this. And then maybe I'm gonna extend that just a little bit, just to add some of that color there. So that's fine. So now I have this thing. Let's get some enamel dots in which color? 
Pink or purple? Let's do purple. I don't know if I have a lot of purple, but let's see. Oh, and it's not too bad, actually. Not too, too bad. I think I'm going to get purple alphas, too. I like that. Let's see if I can find my alphabets. Should I do? Yeah, I'll do white. Let me get my black ones. I'm not sure. Okay. So these are new in the shop this week. The numbers. White on color and then black on color. So white text, black text. So these alphas are new also. Let me see. I'm not even sure if I printed purple yet. Oh, yeah, I did. I did, I did, I did. Okay. So I just want to see... Oh, that's numbers. So I must not have printed my alphas in purple yet. That's okay. I'll just use white. Pretty sure I didn't print them yet. cool so we'll get the numbers so as soon as I printed that the layout that I did last week and I said oh I wish it said 2020 as soon as I my son ha had those done I printed them and I put the date on right away so at least that's done I think it was our first camping trip fave I still haven't cut these on um my brother's Canon cut. I don't want to promise. I hope to be able to get that video done, but it might be a little ways yet. So many things to do and so little time. I, I don't know. I get up and it's not as if I sleep in till like 10. I get up at like this morning, it was 7.30. And I start it right away and already it's noon and should I say new favorite, new fave spot or new fave place? I'm going to say spot only because it's less letters, <laughs> less letters to cut out. I got the T and then I can get oh, the O. I have one sticking out there. And then I can get the P. And it's not it's not that much work, even if you don't have a machine, just to cut them out. It's not that bad. I don't know if I want to use the date, so we'll wait. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so I got my enamel dots. Okay. So I don't know. I think I'll go fave new spot. not perfect English, but it's okay. It's all good. Takes a couple minutes just to cut these out. I have to say, um, to cut them on the Brother Scan and Cut, a sheet takes about 25 minutes because I don't want to put it... Um, too fast, right? Because then it'll just move the paper or whatever. But it, the first time I did it, I did on speed one. It was like 44 minutes. Then I think I did on, it was either two or three. I'm thinking it was two. And then it brought it down to like 24 minutes. And that's a little better. And then because it's a sticker, one thing they'll say if you have a brother scanning cut. And if you do, then you know what I'm talking about. There's a spot where you can choose half cuts. Make sure you choose half cut. And I think I changed the pressure to two because I found if I left it to the machine, I was having a hard time lifting the sticker. 
but if I put it to two, then the sticker just comes right up. I just got to sit down. Well, it's going to take me a whole day to cut all of those up, you know, because you have to be there and change the mat all the time. And I have to pack for camping. So I've got to find time for that this week. We're pretty much like our first camping trip. That's why we went was one to, um, oh, I love that. I love these. Like they look like it was stamped. I love that. Um, we went so that we could figure out our new trailer because we've never had a trailer where, you know, you have sewer and you have to, a whole bunch of stuff that you have to do. <laughs> so we went and we did that. Now, I mean, I, we still don't know it perfectly, but we feel a little bit more confident than we did before. And, um, the first day we had to pack everything, right? Like towels and although I have to bring towels again, but you know, your dishes and, and all this stuff, that's all done. Um, I bought a few accessories for the trailer. Like there's one thing called a leveler and you put it on the inside of your trailer. So you're, when you're backing up, it tells you, oh, you need to lift your trailer. Like, you know, it's more to make sure that you're not so unlevel that it's really hard. So you can, you know, pick a different spot on your campsite, you know, move it around and say, okay, here is better. And uh, so my husband's got to put that in today. And then I hadn't got hot, whew, had gotten a tire monitoring system. And the reason I did that is because we've had many a blowouts, a many a blowouts, and it can re it can wreck your trailer. Like the first time we had a blowout, it did no damage. But the other time we did a blowout, it actually um, put a hole on the bottom of the trailer. Which, I mean, the our tent trailer, I mean, we were sad. We fixed it and all this stuff. But I think I would be even sadder with this one. <laughs> so we got a tire monitoring system. So he's putting that in. Or he put that in last night. So that's all ready to go. And then we also got, um, it's called a Furion camera. And it's so you can tell if people are, you know, if you're on the highway and you go to pass. Well, with those things, it's, it's almost 33 feet. So it makes it hard to know if somebody's right on your butt. Well, with this, we'll be able to see behind us. So it's a safety thing, right? We're not used to having something so long. So I want to make sure that we were safe on the highway. So he's got to put that on. So I think he's going to put that on tomorrow night. And then we're going to be ready to go. I got to, actually, I should make a list and make sure like towels. I got to put towels in there because <laughs> I obviously took them out to wash them. And I didn't put them back. So it's just stuff like that. And then we got to do our groceries. I think we're going to do that Wednesday night. And we're going to go fill up our truck on Wednesday night too. And then we'll pretty much be ready to go. There's a few more things I got to put in the trailer, but I'm going to do the list sometime you know today probably if I can find a couple minutes when I take a little break so I need to make myself a list I need to do well five layouts now maybe not even that much yes because when we come back I work right away and um, not everybody's coming so uh, I can even get you know my son to release videos while he's here um I can do that if the scheduling doesn't work. Okay, but at least I'd like to have a few videos going up. 
Wow, that went together so quickly. I love scraps for that. You just kind of start moving stuff around and the page is done. I love those. They look like I stamped them. Love it. Okay, so that's going to complete this layout. And I should have a video going up on Wednesday and Friday this week because, you know, I'll be here to upload them. And cross your fingers for next week. <laughs> so I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.